I think one of the things that keeps our people from being healed is the lack of confession. Is the lack of sincere confession. Now, for instance, this might sound a little bad, but I don't mean it in this way. But looking at my wife sitting here, if I would go out here today and throw my arms around some other woman and, and make love to her, and I'd uh, know then after I did that that I was wrong, so wrong. Now, of course, my comforter would keep me from doing that, see. see? But I mean, if I, if I did that and I, it happened that I did it or anything similar to it, and then I know the first thing is to say to my wife before I can say to God, forgive me because I sinned against her. If you come to the altar and remember you have ought, go make that right first before you offer your gift. So I've got to go to her. I believe in confession is straightening up also. It isn't true confession unless it is. What if I said, now, I'm going to confess it that I've done wrong. I say, good Lord. Oh, friend of mine, you know that I know you real well. Praise God. Hallelujah. I, I, I think you're a good old fella. Uh, forgive me. Uh, you know, old, old friend, I, I didn't mean it that way. See? Now, you say that's sacrilegious. It is. To make a confession like that, it is. But what if I go say, uh, uh, Lord, uh, I, I didn't mean to do it just that way. And you help me and I won't do it again. He will refuse my sacrifice. Until I first go and make that right with my wife. Then what if I come to her with the same irreverence and say, Say, old girl, old friend of mine. Oh, mother of my children, old sweetheart. You know, we've been old chums for a long time. Say, what if I put my arms around another woman? And what do you say about it, old kid? Would you forgive me? I imagine how she'd look. She'd think, what's happened to my husband? Hmm? Now... The first thing, she wouldn't know whether I was kidding or whether I wasn't. And you don't go that way to make a confession to your fellow man or God. You go with the dips of sincerity with godly sorrow of your sin. First, you must be sorry. I must tell her, sweetheart, come here. It may mean the rest of our married life. The woman that I live with, it's my sweetheart. And how I've loved you all these years. But now you may leave me from this on. You may not stay with me. You may not accept me. And I'm knowing that. But yet, to make it right, I've got to get right. I've got to tell her with the depths of my heart. Then I've got to tell God the same way. And tell both her and God with the sincerity that I'll never do it again by the grace of God. Don't just really... Now, I might be able to put it over her and she see won't see, maybe my speech to her would, would convince her, but my speech won't convince God. He looks in my heart, and He knows. And after all, just a few more years with her, if God permits, and we'll be taken out of this world, but with God, it's eternity. So I must be deeply sincere with God. And then if I am sincere, He'll hear me. But if I'm not sincere, there's no need of me wasting God's time listening to me. And that's where it's come to today amongst people. There doesn't seem to be that depth of sincerity that, that they ought to have. And I believe that a man or woman coming to be prayed for should first confess everything that they have did. And make everything right because, you see, you notice lots of times on the platform, you notice what's how far away that thus saith the Lord is. See? See? The people, the vision will materialize, of course, with their faith. God promised that by a gift. But the healing is something different. See? God recognizes it then. See? Now, we notice that as the people making their confession, it's got to come with deepness and sincerity. I have here, I ain't got time to read it. But it's at Beamington, New York. Uh, I believe, or I've got that wrong. Is it yeah, Beamington? I believe it's right. The place where the Andicott Shoe Company is there. Uh, Binghamton. I believe it's called Bingham, Binghamton. That's right. Uh, New York. We was there in the Andicott Johnson uh, Shoe Place, the big auditorium. And we was having a meeting there. 
And one morning, uh, Billy Paul was next door to me, real cold, winds blowing. And I'd found among the people a lack of sincerity, it seemed like. And I, I wondered why here was one man that was healed of uh, purpose, or one man in, in particular I'm speaking of. The man had a great affliction, and he was healed this night standing there. And before we left five days, the affliction was back to him again. See, because in the presence of the Holy Spirit, he took that off of him. Just like it did this young woman a while ago out here in the yard. The young man last night, see. But there must be a deep sincerity to know that the God that can take it away from you now, with that same anointing only can keep it away from you, see. And then the Holy Spirit spoke to me one morning about daylight and said, Get up on the platform or somewhere. And bring these people up there and make them confess everything that they've did before you pray for them. The deepness of sincerity. Unless the world repents, it's got to perish. And confession is what the world needs today, is honest confession. It's like medicine for a disease. We all can read on the bottle what kind of a medicine it is and what disease it is to cure. But, uh, you know, the reading the directions, I'm going to apply that like, to the Bible. Our schools and seminaries can read all the Word. But, you know, just reading the directions and how to take it, it, it doesn't cure the disease. Right. See? It, it's got the medicine, so it's got to be taken. So a man can say, I am a, a theologian. Now, don't speak to me I, I, I about such and such. I know the Scriptures. I, I know that the Bible uh, speaks thus and thus. That uh, he that heareth my word, St. John five twenty four, for instance, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me has eternal life. Or King James puts it everlasting, which is eternal, rightly has eternal life because he's believed. Many people say they believe. Now, that is true. The, the, the Scripture is correct. I, I'm reading the, the, the prescription. Uh, I'm reading what the prescription is. And I'm the antidote for my sin. But can I take it? Can I believe? I might say I believe, but do I believe? That's the next thing. Just read it and know the directions doesn't cure the disease. The trouble is that the, in our case, we won't take what the remedy says do. We got the remedy, but we won't take it. We say we do because we can read it. But to really take it, we don't do it. See, the gospel is the same way of medicine in this case. If the patient and the remedy has been proven to cure the patient, and the uh, patient reads all about the, the uh, discovery of this j- drug, and they know every ounce of medicine that's in it. They know all the, the scientists named that found this certain drug. Like the salt vaccine and so forth. If we, if we know all the word about it, but refuse to take it, it won't help us. See? It, it won't help us. But, and then how we say, but we've took it. And if you say you took it, and the patient shows no results, he didn't take it. That's all. How if that clock on the wall wasn't such a busybody? See, I'd like to say here and bring down real strong for our, our people since the gospel has been proved these things. And they claim they take it. And they show that they don't take it. 
How can a person read the Scriptures upon the little thing they'll talk about, about women with the bob hair and wearing shorts and so forth like that? How can they call themselves Christians when the very medicine itself says that it's different? See? How can you say, what well, I've danced in the Spirit. I've spoken tongues. That don't mean one thing. Your own life proves that you didn't take it. You said you... You took it, but you didn't. For you still are showing all the symptoms that the medicine is supposed to cure. And the medicine in the gospel line is a guaranteed cure. It's got to be. Now, you see, you've got to show results. Results. 